Who do the people trust more than you? So trust is the thing I worry about the most. You know, for reasons that make no sense, I get to talk about this stuff all over the country. And so there I was in Denver, two days after Massachusetts voted, two days after Scott Brown won and the Democrats' plans all looked like they'd gone awry. And I was there to speak to the Board of Denver Health, which is a public hospital system, very, very good one. And the CEO wanted me to, des to describe the bill, just explain the bill. Two hours. Okay, so I finish. And the chairman of the board of Denver Health is, the, is what I would do since it's appointed by the mayor. It's a good Republican banker. And he said, you know, that's the best description of the bill I ever heard. It makes me understand why we need health reform and why in a normal year, Lynn, I'd be for it. But I got to tell you, the fact that I, chairman of the big hospital system, am learning today, January 20th, what's really in this bill makes me even madder at Washington. They're not talking to us, Lynn. I don't understand it. It's all he said, she said. I turn it off. He said, look, I'm a lifelong Republican. I know Republicans in Congress are lying about this bill, but I don't trust Democrats to tell me the truth. Think about that. That's where we are. We have lost the trust it takes to run a republic. Lost it. Now, two things you can do when you lose people's trust. You can pander to them, run around and say, whatever you're for, that's what I'm for. And they'll vote for you once. Or you can lead. Now, in the tradition of servant leadership, which you exemplify, leadership means listening. A lot of people feel like they're not being listened to. I get that. You got to listen. But leading also means telling the people, you know what? There are a couple things you need to consider here that are actually facts. But to do that, you got to re earn the trust. Finally, let me remind you we can't afford to fail. We got to pay the Chinese back. My calculation we got 10 years. The good news is it'll take them that long, but they're going to want their money back. We got 10 years. We can't fail. And when I think about we can't fail, I try to figure out how to express that. And I remember Apollo 13, that wonderful movie. Remember where the Ed Harris character was standing there in mission control? And he stands up and he says, failure is not an option. Now, why did he say that? Because to him, those men were part of his family, part of his community. And every single engineer in mission control felt connected to that same community. Your gift is you express to the world that all of us can be part of the same community. Part of our problem in America right now is we got some people who don't feel like they're part of the community and they don't necessarily think everybody should be in it. So I ask you to think about it. When you see sometimes the face of anger or the face of fear, Remember, all bad behavior is based on fear. Celebrate the fact that God gave you the gift to engage your community where you are. And believe that when you look someone in the eye, you are looking at the image of God. Thank you very much.